Good morning everyone. We've just arrived in El Nido town and today we're going to be doing the main attraction here in El Nido finally which is the island hopping tour but we're going to be doing a private tour on a speedboat. We've never done a speedboat tour here around the islands and that's going to cost 16,800 overall but I think that includes pretty much everything. Yeah all the environmental fees, the snorkeling, rental and the food as well. Yeah, kayak I think as well, yeah. entrance fees. Yeah, we won't have to pay anything else extra. And we're going to be doing the tour with this company here, Isla Expeditions. And the tour is a mix of A and B. So we've never been to a big lagoon before. We've been to a small lagoon and Snake Island never been there. And then I guess they'll just mix these here. So we're on the El Nido town beach now. Crowds and crowds of people waiting to do the boat tours. But unfortunately we've had like a disaster start to our trip. So the whole reason that we're paying so much money to do a private tour is to leave early and beat the crowds because Big Lagoon's gonna get absolutely packed. So we were supposed to leave at 8.30 and all the other main boats that are not private leave at nine and that's when it'll get really crowded. But right now it's low tide and it seems like our crew miscalculated the tide because our boat is stuck here. It's just behind this boat, a little speedboat back there. So we're stuck and we're basically watching all the people that are not doing a private tour uh, leaving. In general though, there has been a lot of stuff going wrong on this uh, El Nido trip. Obviously if you're watching the videos, we're out doing stuff and having fun, right? But we've been having a lot of uh, issues at the accommodations. Mainly it's uh, power cuts. Here in El Nido, they just have power cuts all the time. We've even had days where it's like the entire day, no power. And we haven't had internet the last like six, seven days. And the company keeps saying they're gonna come to our apartment to fix it, but they never come and fix it. And that's a big issue for us since we work online. So yeah, it's almost like we're living off the grid, even though we're not. <laughs> all right, so they freed the boat. That's our boat there. It's about 10 now, so yeah, waited about an hour and a half. Oh wow, get that out. Anyway, hopefully the tour's good after all that. Yeah, well there'll be a lot of people, but that's it. Yeah, should still be beautiful anyway. gonna be our first island that we're stopping at but we're stopping here just for a cave that's back here somewhere I think said we got to take flip-flops for this one yeah we do beautiful beach too though paradise island we did go to another cave but you just enter with the boat that one was called cathedral cave also very nice this is the first one you should uh, watch your head. Okay. Just go like this and then sit down. Then uh, just turn around. It's okay? Wrong way? <laughs> okay. Man, I'm too big for this. Thank you. Oh, this place is cool. Got the jagged edges here too. Oh, this goes underground. Oh, yeah, like a pit. <laughs> so, in case you're wondering, this is part of Tor B, the tour that we've never done before. So we've never seen any of these islands that we're visiting around here. So even that one over there we haven't seen before, the big one. 
or any of these we're in a completely different part of the bay and i think we're going to do big lagoon last the other tours i think they do it first and it'll be busy obviously since we came a bit late so we're kind of doing it in the reverse order and i think here's empty because our boat is so fast that even though we left late we just like blitzed everyone yeah and and also that's the reason why we decided to do with a speed boat because you can do private with just a normal boat but then you cannot mix the, the different tours you can only do one tour yeah so that's why we decided to do with the speed boat even though it's not much uh, not very comfortable yeah. because it's very bumpy but you get very fast to the places yeah you can do multiple tours just in one day Panda. Yeah, Panda Brown. Panda That's the Brown. name? Yeah. Panda Brown. Yeah. He lives on the island? Yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> Panda. Panda. Panda Brown. So this right here is Snake Island, like the main stop on uh, Tor B and the one that we wanted to see the most on this tour. And it's called Snake Island because you have this huge sand strip. Luckily we came at low tide, that's why our boat got stuck, but that also means that this island is looking cool because if it's high tide this strip would disappear and then yeah, it kind of loses the meaning right and we didn't realize that that is the mainland that isn't an island right there so all this is the mainland and that place that we went in the cave just now is there and that's also the mainland it's attached to the mainland so it wasn't an island we thought that we were on an island i mean all these look like islands but they're not so i guess we'll walk the strip seems like a bit of a walk though to the end it's cool how it like goes like that yeah, just like a snake. your upgrade from me yeah you're sneaking in on my girl i no longer need you flying the drone and th this is what happens he just sneaks in <laughs> oh I, I like this dog he's so chilled out yeah he is just uh chilling cooling down <laughs> it is very hot chill dog yeah. chill panda yeah so they said that he belongs to this island there's like a little hut over there selling stuff yeah, I was saving the drone for this because it's like uh, the perfect island for a drone, right? The sandbar. Yeah, and I think now that the tide's going up, so this part here. Oh yeah, it's disappearing. Already. Ciao, panda. There he goes. He goes swimming though, I think, doesn't he? Yeah. Nice little swim. Where's he going now? <laughs> yeah, it's like he's smelling something and then he goes swimming. He can swim fast. Boat. He stands up, right? Yeah, he stands up. Like a human. Yeah, like a human. <laughs> Very smart. Yeah. Bye, Panda. 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 Panda, bye bye. Oh, take a tayo. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye, Panda. Oh, don't lock the way. Go away, Panda. Go away. Hey. Bye, bye, Panda. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> Man, that's that's top three beach dog right there that we've ever met. 
friend of Stinky Mike. Yeah, Stinky Mike in uh, Thailand. Thailand. So this is gonna be our lunch stop now, Entalula Island. So this is like the main lunch stop for, I think, the majority of the boat tours on tour beach. So lunch has been served, great spot too. We're right on the sand, right on the beach. And probably one of the best looking meals that we've had on a boat tour in the Philippines or anywhere. I like the fruit selection here. Loads of fruit, even made a little duck. <laughs> That's funny. And then they got the fish. I think he said it's called a unicorn fish or sometimes known as a demon fish because of that horn there. Loads of chicken, eggplant, some uh, vegetables, cucumber, rice, and I guess that's soy sauce or something. And I only just noticed they even made this here out as a cucumber. I love El Nido. It's a nice touch. How is it? Yeah, it's good. There's not much um, flavor, like not not salty or anything. So I'm putting the the sauce, sauce on top of it. Maybe that's why. Maybe they just want you to do that. So we did do a private tour in Koran, and it is quite different, I would say, overall. So in Koran, on the private tour, we'd still get taken to some beach areas that nobody else goes, like no other boats. So it was more of like a private experience as well. Whereas I think in El Nido, if you're on a private tour, you're still getting taken to all the places that everybody else is going on the normal tours. So I think all these are private speed boats too, but yeah, everybody still has to come here. It's strange though, right? Because as you're going around on the boat, there's literally millions of deserted paradise beaches that look yeah. like this. And then it just makes you think, why don't they spread it out? But it must be some, some law, law, I don't know. Else. We don't know, but it certainly is different than Coron. Coron, it's just uh, maybe the law is different there. I don't know. I think the difference is also because in El Nido, a lot of these islands around here are privately owned. So, like that one over there, Pinaguetan, that's now privately owned. Used to be on one of the boat tours, but you can't visit it anymore. I think even over there, I think Lagan's privately owned. So. You can't visit a lot of these places. And in Koron, the main Koron Island, the Limestone Island, it's owned by the native tribe there. And it seems like they just let you visit anywhere. You pay an environmental fee, and then I think pretty much you can visit any of the places. So yeah, it's definitely better in that aspect. And it's a shame here that they're selling more islands that are getting removed from the island hopping tours. So that means even the few options that are available are getting more crammed, I guess. Maybe that's the problem here, I don't know. turns out that it's more than one beach so we just went around the cliffs and now we're at this smaller beach here also a stop for eating though i like the cool rock there in the middle of the beach huge rock This island is called Shimizu Island, named after a Japanese person that drowned here diving. 
Yeah, so this island is part of Torre, but normally you come here earlier in the day when it's in the sun. I think that's why there's absolutely nobody here now. We're the only boat here. So you can see here, if this wasn't all in the shade, it would be that beautiful color that you can see over there in the sun. the famous big lagoon now right here got some interesting wooden paddles and this wasn't included in the tour we said that it was we thought it was it's uh, 300 to rent the kayak and that's for the both of us not each and now we're entering in the middle so just like the last place that we went unfortunately because of the time that we come in it's all in the shade so this would look way 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 more beautiful but even now though look at that water even with no sunlight at all looks absolutely amazing i think the majority of people are, are leaving right now it seems like cow this is huge yeah that's why it's big lagoon yeah we went to the small lagoon the small lagoon's tiny lagoon compared to this it was nowhere near this big back there's like a big lagoon and it becomes really dark all of a sudden this part actually reminds me a bit of uh, Halong Bay when we went there remember when we did kayak in there yeah it was super cool too yeah it's really cool but I remember we went to like some big open lagoon like this wow really impressive so we turned the corner and we entered yet another corridor area here a different one Kind of different too because it's got mangroves inside of here really surprised by how big this uh lagoon is they should call it the gigantic lagoon instead i thought it was just like the corridor and that was it from the videos that i saw like there's a tunnel here people, where people are going right now so we're trying to to go inside without hurting ourselves <laughs> mm. oh, it's actually very nice look at this <laughs> yeah i was already impressed before but it gets even better that's some obstacles Turns out that you can get out of the kayak. There's these shallow parts here in the corridor where you can stand up, no problem. Wow, that wind. Yeah, Feels like a, a storm kind of wind. Hope not.
Hello. So we didn't get here early, but at least we're able to be one of the last people here. Yeah, it's very peaceful right now. <laughs> Once the army left. Yeah, that was funny. One, two, one, two. Yeah, I'm glad we've finally come to the big lagoon though. Been to El Nido twice and I've never been to this. And it's probably like the main attraction of them all. I don't know how it took us so long to come here. Yeah, well, we're finally here. Yeah. We love it. back from the boat tour now just like in the last video we don't have any power until later on today so yeah it's a bit cooler here in the hammock that's what the dogs think too <laughs> and overall we really like the the tour it actually worked out kind of funny that we did the best part the big lagoon right at the end but that was good because we like ended the tour on a high I guess instead of doing it in the beginning so yeah that wasn't too bad and obviously the positives of the speedboat tour is that you can mix different tours you can't do that in a normal boat because the islands are too far away from each other it would take too long and i also like that you weren't on the water that much because we've done the other island hopping tours and sometimes it feels like you're on the water forever on the boat forever but it really was like so fast i was actually surprised by how fast the speedboat was going so that was really good but it's not for everyone because of the price but that's also because it was only me and Carol get in the boat so I think it was around like $300 overall and I think if we just did one of the island hopping tours it would be like $25 each around $50 total but then you with a big group but if you do have a bigger group to put on the speedboat yeah, you'll be paying less than we did i don't think it'll be the same price as we got the price still does go up but yeah not that much so divided with a bigger group it would be a lot better and this is the end of our philippines trip so we've been here two months overall we're actually going to be leaving on the final day of our visa so we've used up all the days to the limit that's because we love the philippines so much and we're very happy about what we did with the trip like the first month we went to more off the beaten path places where tourists don't really go and then this last month we just did like Koron, uh, Linapakan, people don't go there a lot and then um, El Nido and we're just happy to be in El Nido not happy about the infrastructure it's been a real pain in the ass for us that especially since we're like digital nomads all the internet issues and stuff just been a uh, a big headache so not gonna miss that but we'll miss everything else we love the filipino people they're all super friendly and yeah we just like the place for us it's still the best like beach destination in the world especially because of the variety i always mention that there's over 7,000 islands so yeah there's just such a variety of different islands and yeah it's just the best tropical destination we've ever been to we'll love it yeah there'll be more videos from the philippines in the future that's for sure and each time we come here we just want to come back again even more so yeah i'm pretty sure it's going to be a country that we're going to keep revisiting over and over and discovering more new places so if you liked all the philippines videos and this one just drop a like as usual to support us subscribe to see more follow us on instagram and facebook and we'll see you in the next one